Hello students. Today I will discuss about sharing of charges between two conductors. Suppose we have two conductors. You can see in the picture. This is the situation before joining them. The capacity of the first conductor is C1, charge Q1, potential is V1 and capacity, charge and potential of the second conductor is C2, Q2 and V2 respectively. Now if they are joined, what will happen? Charge will flow from this conductor which has higher potential to the conductor which has lower potential. Suppose in this question V1 is greater than V2. Therefore we can say charge will flow from the left one to the right one. Now what will happen? After completion of the sharing of charges, capacity doesn't change but charge will of course change. Finally, the potential of both the spheres should be equal. Suppose that common potential is V. Charge on the first sphere becomes Q1 dash and charge on the second sphere becomes Q2 dash. This is the situation after joining. Now we want to find the common potential. We will find it by the principle of conservation of charge. Before joining, total charge of the system is simple Q1 plus Q2. And we can write from the definition of capacitance Q1 as C1V1 and Q2 as C2V2. Therefore, this is the charge of the system before they are joined. After joining, we know they reach a common potential V. So total charge of the system now will be Q1 dash plus Q2 dash. And we can write Q1 dash as C1V and Q2 dash as C2V. Therefore, from principle of conservation of charge, we can write total charge of the system before and after joining should be equal. So, we will get V equals to C1 V1 plus C2 V2 divided by C1 plus C2. Now, C1 V1 is Q1 and C2 V2 is Q2. Therefore, common potential could be written as Q1 Q2 by C1 plus C2 which is very very important equation we can say common potential is total charge by total capacity you should remember this formula because we will use it later Now, uh, final charge of the two conductors. Final charge on first conductor will be Q1 dash equals to C1 into V. Putting the value of V there. Now this is the final charge of the first conductor. Similarly, final charge on the second conductor is Q2 dash which is C2 into V. You can see if I add Q1 dash and Q2 dash, we will again get Q1 plus Q2 which is uh, obviously from the principle of conservation of charge. Now, if the two spheres 
are of identical size and shape so their capacitance will be equal then uh, putting the uh, values of uh, c1 equals to c2 equals to c suppose we will get that q1 dash will become q1 plus q2 divided by 2 and q2 dash will be also q1 plus q2 divided by 2 thus we can say when the size and shape of the two conductors are identical charges are equally shared now let's come to a problem in this problem we have three conductors or you can say three uh, spherical balls a b and c charge on a is q charge on b is also q and charge on c is nothing that is c is uncharged now if a and c are joined the charges will be equally shared because they are identical in shape and sizes so after separation charge on a will be q by 2 that is total charge divided by 2 and charge on c will be q by 2 again so the situation will look like this charge on a q by 2 charge on c q by 2 now this c sphere is joined to b and again separated in this situation total charge of the system will be q plus q by 2 that is 3 q by 2 now this charge will be shared equally because again i say b and c are of equal size and shape so charges will be equally shared so after separation charge on each sphere will be half of 3q by 2 that is 3q by 4 therefore the final situation will look like this charge on a q by 2 charge on c 3q by 4 and b 3q by 4